My Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan is out of hospital days after being wounded in a shooting. He was struck in the leg on Thursday during a nationwide tour to demand early elections. Well, Khan is now calling for an independent inquiry into the apparent assassination attempt. And he again claimed, without providing evidence, that Pakistan's current Prime Minister was one of several officials behind the attack, which also left one person dead and 11 wounded. Well, Khan says he will resume his march towards Islamabad later this week. Well, in a letter addressed to Pakistan's president, Imran Khan wrote, and I quote, Mr. President, you hold the highest office of state, and I am requesting you to act now to stop the abuse of power and violations of our laws of the Constitution, which ensures the fundamental rights of every citizen. Well, Imran Khan joins me now live from Lahore in Pakistan. And thank you for doing this interview, sir. Let's uh, start um, by simply asking you how you are. Well, Becky, they took out three bullets from my right leg. Uh, the left had some shrapnel, which they've left inside. Uh, my bone has been damaged, so my leg is in a cast. Uh, and maybe it will take me four, six weeks, four to six weeks to uh, resume my normal activity. Well, you've accused Pakistan's current prime minister, the interior minister, and a senior intelligence official for the attack on your life. These are serious allegations. What's your evidence, sir? Well, Becky, oh, about two months ago, this plot was conceived. Uh, I went on in public. Uh, I, on 24th of September, I actually announced about this plot. And let me just get, give you the background. How do I know that what I'm saying and how, what evidence I have? It started off when, the, when I was uh, deposed from government. From then onwards, what was expected was that our party would just fall, fall, fall apart. In fact, what has happened is that those two families being again imposed on us, who've been ruling for 30 years, there was a big public backlash. And so rather than my uh, movement or party going down, down, it has probably the party has had such public support. We won 75% of the by-elections uh, since we were out of power. And so all efforts were then to somehow make me run out of the race, to disqualify me, terrorist, uh, uh, right, I was right, accused right. of terrorism, that, that and so on, we know, various charges. I did, with respect, ask you for the evidence behind these allegations, I am, if you will. Uh, Becky, uh, and with respect, if people don't know the background, how would they know why this attempt took place? Mm. The reason why that they tried everything to somehow get me out of the way. When that didn't happen, this, this was planned. And two months ago, uh, an agency produces this video, which accuses me of uh, blasphemy. Then this journalist, Wakar City, who, who's linked with these agencies, comes up with this, uh, uh, another video saying how I had uh, offended the religious sentiments of the people. Then the ruling party information minister, along with the daughter of uh, the former prime minister, Mariam uh, Safdar, they then go on television and saying how I have upset the sentiments of the people. It's then that I went on air and said this is a planned thing because if they assassinated me, uh, 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 the evidence would go on the government. So they made it out that it was a religious fanatic who's going to, uh, uh, who would kill me and then put right. it, let, let me put, uh, this to you. put my assassination rather. What? I Imran Khan. Your, your allegations have been aggressively refuted. I have to put this to you. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has condemned the attack on your life, wishing you a speedy recovery on his Twitter. The Interior Minister has rejected your accusations, saying, and I quote, Imran Khan has blamed me, the Prime Minister, and a senior officer. This is such a grievous statement. It happened in the province where Imran Khan's party is in government. And the military has also issued a statement, saying in part, quote, 
The baseless and irresponsible allegations by uh, Chairman PTI against the institution, and particularly a senior army officer, are absolutely unacceptable and uncalled for. Pakistan's army prides itself for being an extremely professional and well-disciplined organization with a robust and highly effective internal accountability system uh, applicable across the board for unlawful acts, if any, committed by uniform personnel. Uh, Pakistan's Ministry of Information released a video, Imran Khan, that CNN cannot verify of a confession from an unnamed man who it claims carried out the attack. And in that video, the man said he wanted to kill you because you were misleading the people. Is it not conceivable that the perpetrator was acting alone um, against you and your party's policies? First of all, there were two shooters. Definitely, maybe another one. There was this guy who fired the first volley and we, I fell and other people fell because they hit our legs. We were saved because one of the people in the crowd put his gun down, otherwise we would have been dead. Then there was another volley came in because we were falling. This volley came over our heads. Look, it was a planned assassination attempt and we knew about it. I went on air beforehand. I warned them that this is what would happen. They would blame it on some religious fanatic. And why, after the attack, the things that have happened, the cover-up that is going on. So that's why I have called for an independent investigation. These three people were responsible. If, if a, an independent or proper investigation is to be done, with them on top, it can never happen because the investigating agencies are below them. That's why also I've appealed to the Chief Justice of Pakistan to have an independent inquiry. If my allegations are wrong, then the inquiries would prove Understood. they are wrong. I know the sequence of events. I know the cover-up that took place. And I is still taking place. And we know that this was planned not now, Let two me... months ago. You've blamed the US and other actors for ousting you as Prime Minister. And you have made it abundantly clear that you wish to return to power, wouldn't accusing the current government of perpetrating the assassination attempt without proof work in your, in favour of your political endeavours? That's certainly what your critics are suggesting. Becky, I don't need any reason to accuse this government for me to get back into power. Every opinion poll in Pakistan, 75% of the by-elections have been won by us. All the opinion polls, this is the most popular party. You don't need to accuse people of assassination so that you get more popular in this country. We know what is happening. You know, the, the two people I've accused, Shabash, the prime minister and the interior minister, both have been accused for a massacre. 12 people were massacred and uh, about 60 were hit with bullets when the police opened fire at, at, a, a, at an unarmed crowd, which was planning to do a political protest. It's called the Model Town Massacre. They have been accused of killing people, assassination, right. extrajudicial killing. This is not the first time they've done it. And the, as for the intelligence agency, the, the person, the officer involved, we know how the evidence was, how this whole plot opened up. We know you... that the, how the video, who made the video, from where it went to the witch journalist, how it was orchestrated, and then the cover-up that is taking place okay. since, as you said, this guy appears on television. How, how was this allowed? I, I, this guy allowed to? I, you know, I, am, I am hearing your accusations. Questions. Let me put this to you. Yeah. Let, 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 let me just put this to you. Pakistan's Electronic Media Regulatory Authority had initially issued a ban on airing your speeches. That was until the Prime Minister himself used his executive order to, re to reverse that ban. Um, some will see that as a show of good faith in light of your allegations against him. Do you see it as such? Uh, two things, Becky. The clampdown on the media in Pakistan is unprecedented. One of uh, the best investigative journalists in Pakistan, Arshid Sharif, he was assassinated in Kenya just a couple of weeks back. This guy was exposing this whole plot that took place against me, that he was hounded out of Pakistan. He ended up going to Dubai. From there, he went to Kenya, where he was killed. There, two of my closest uh, 
aides. One was my chief of staff, one was a senator, Azam Swati. He was both was stripped naked, tortured. Both blamed the senior uh, intelligence officer who was responsible for the torture. So look, the clampdown that has taken place on media is unprecedented in Pakistan. So for him to suddenly s say that, you know, uh, uh, they will lift the ban on me, it would not have withstood in any court of law. On what basis would they ban me? Mm. And by the way, how you, come I, you, as a person who, who, was, who, were, who was about to be assassinated, how come I cannot name those people who I'm suspicious about who were planned this, this attempt on me? Mm. You, you, you continue to call this an assassination attempt, and you say you had evidence that this was going to happen uh, beforehand, um, and you say uh, now that you want an independent investigation. I just do wonder what information you were given and from whom to support those allegations. So, number one, Becky, on 24th of September, there is my public speech where I exactly, as the events unfolded, they are in that speech, how this would happen, how religious, in the name of blasphemy, a religious fanatic would kill me and then they would blame it on him. It, I, all this is in my speech, which I put uh, on television, it's on social media. Secondly, remember three and a half years I, I was in power. I have connections with intelligence agencies, the different agencies that operate. I have, how did I get the information? From within the intelligence agencies. Why? Because most people are appalled by what is going on in this country. What is happening in right. Pakistan is unprecedented. I was in General Musharraf's oh martial law. I was put in jail in, during his time. Never did we see the sort of oppression that is going on in, right now in Pakistan never happened even in Musharraf's martial law. All right. Imran Khan, we've run out of time. Um, I thank you uh, for joining us. Um, the point of view of the former Prime Minister. And listen, sir, we do wish you uh, a speedy...